Hi, I'm Alex Porterfield. The first piece I'll be presenting is Maggie from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams. The second, Catherine from Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. Hear them? Hear them screaming? I don't know where their voice box is located since they don't have necks. I tell you, I got so nervous at that table tonight, I thought I would throw back my head and utter a scream you could hear across the Arkansas border and parts of Louisiana and Tennessee. I said to you, charming. Sister-in-law, mate, honey, couldn't you feed those precious little things at a separate table with an oilcloth cover? They make such a mess, and the lace cloth looks so pretty. Mm. She made enormous eyes at me and said, Oh, no, on Big Daddy's birthday, why he would never forgive me. Well, I want you to know Big Daddy hadn't been at that table two minutes with those five no-neck monsters slobbering and drooling over their food before he threw down his fork and shouted, for God's sake, Cooper, why don't you put them pigs out of trough in the kitchen? Well, I swear, I simply couldn't have died. Think of it, Britt. They've got five of them, and number six is coming. They brought the whole bunch down here like animals to display at a county fair. Why, they have those children doing tricks all the time. Junior, Show Big Daddy how you do this. Show Big Daddy how you do that. Say a little piece for Big Daddy's sister. Show your dimples, sugar, Junior. Show Big Daddy how you stand on your head. It goes on all the time. Along with constant little remarks and innuendos about the fact that you and I have not produced any children, are totally childless and therefore totally useless. Of course, it's comical, but it's also disgusting since it's so obvious what they're up to. No shame but mine. I must, forsooth, be forced to give my hand opposed against my heart unto a mad brain. Roots be full of spleen, who wooed in haste and means to wed at leisure. I told you I, he was a frantic fool, hiding his bitter jests in blunt behavior. And to be noted for a merry man, he'll woo a thousand. Point the day of marriage, make friends, invite and proclaim the bands, but never means to wed where he hath wooed. Now must the world point at poor Catherine and say, Lo, there is mad Petruchio's wife. If it would please him, come and marry her.